If you remember a year ago, previously on a walking a lot of games. He asked for. I gave a lot of time. My friend got into Warframe. I helped him out. I got back into it. You thought that was the end of the story, but turns out the story only lasted one to two months. After that time frame passed, my guy just said that's a good game and peace out. He has never touched Warframe again, even after new content's been dropping. Me, I'm still playing it until three months ago. And that was because of the clan event. Gotta get as many energies as I can. I kinda pushed myself to go as far, even if it felt tiring. Every day for that month, I just kept doing the same thing over and over. Streamed the same thing an hour a day. At which no TV says kanaka kanaka. Of course, it's going to burn me out. So three months ago, after that event, I just stopped. Man, it felt great to not have an addiction. I'm just kidding. But I do miss the charm of new frames to try, new weapons, the community, waiting for dev streams, hanging in Twitch for a drop. The way everything tightens back just felt very inclusive, very welcoming, like you are part of this community. Even if you are not a creator or a hyper genius who min max a 50 million forma aklex to share. I think many of us have been in this situation where we do want to try to go back. But nothing catches our eyes. I got so many comments in my last Warframe video about this. I am still beyond grateful for the immense support on that video. Literally the first time I got 100k and only time at that. Which I didn't really expect from me just gushing about man in the wall and Lovecraftian lore. This video is going to be different, a lot more technical. Because I have a shorter break, I figured I have a better idea of what to get and what to do when trying to go back into Warframe. It's still fresh, so my experience might help y'all or it might just be me writing a Dear Diary video. Dear Diary, my video flopped again. Many would recommend going on Relic Runs. It's easy, it's fast, literally a plug and play. You can farm plots for it. You can farm new weapons, new frames. Everyone is doing it, even veterans. Nothing could go wrong. Not. I remember back then when the quarantine was happening, trying to go back into Warframe with this method. It's just a slog. I kept doing the same thing over and over, but I don't know what exactly is the point. Get primes? Already have them. Get plots? Yeah, no. The problem is, there is no end goal. Why should I get a shinier version of Nidus if I can use the normal version? A lot of players recommend this because it's easy, and that's true. But forget that new player returning player feeling. Try to remember again, back to the first time when you're starting. Do you want the game to be easy? No, you want the game to drag you down. The fluidity, speed of the combat, bullet jumps. But we cannot show that to returnees, they know that. So what other novel thing should we give them? What will make them feel absorbed back into the game? Many factors, but not grinding. Grinding suck ass. But first, stories. Stories are fun. Stories absorb people. They grip their attention. And Warframe is good at that. Hero, New War, Zariman. The only problem Warframe has with stories is how slow that slog was. And usually that happens in dialogue, like a bombshell of a lore. They kept yapping bruv. This is not for everyone, I understand. Even I brush over dialogues in Warframe. Only New War hits so hard for me. Oh, and don't forget, upcoming 1999 is going to be nasty. So what to do if you or your friend is brain dead? That's a joke, don't get angry. We need toys, new toys, new frames, weapons. Ooh, primes? Not primes, primes suck because you either need to buy them or grind them. Base your fun time on whether the void smiles at you. You're not Nef, Anyo. You cannot risk spending more time just for a chance to pick at what's possible. Thankfully, lately Warframe seems to be designed to get stuff easier. A few weeks ago, I started farming for Dante. Apart from how good he is, the fact that I can get a new frame at the very least in 108 runs, guaranteed, mind you, is so respectful of my time. Back then you have to pray that shit ass Sargasrook to drop Ember Neuroptics. 
you still do, but not with the newer frames. Now you know I just need to play this many more before I'm able to get him rather than stop giving me the fucking systems. Having a goal in sight, surprisingly, is going to boost your motivation. You go in, you know what you're going to farm, know what you're going to get, and how long to get them. The grind is bearable if you know the suffering will end and you'll achieve paradise one day. That paradise is Dante from Devil May Cry. I would recommend against getting weapons, but that is more of a personal preference. If I can choose between a frame and a weapon, I'ma pick a toy that has a lot more features baked in. Another thing that obviously will make everyone have fun again, have a clear and obstructed goal, is to play with others. Surprise, surprise, I know, let me talk. I don't mean relic runs or looking for squads, that's like breathing in Warframe. I mean a friend, a sentient being you know isn't just some kind of AI following the mechanics of the game. Someone who can respond back to you, give you feedback, back and forth. I did this a year ago and last week as well, introducing my real life friend to Warframe, guiding him, playing with him. Basically, taking on an apprentice is going to be a lot more fun than trying to rule the galaxy alone. Why do you think the rule of two exists? There is a clear goal to be rich. You're going to train them while you yourself play along with them. The craziness that ensues is going to be insane. Seeing them stumble and fumble but still prevailing. That month of me running through the game with him is enough to tug me back right into Warframe. To the point where I play farm without him even online. You know, gotta look cool in front of the homie. But let's say that's not possible for you. I'm going to assume the best and say your friends have no taste. Warframe is a great game. Or maybe your friends are actually the veterans and you cannot apprentice them because you are the apprentice. No problem. It's like the saying by Sun Tzu, there are many fish in the sea. I streamed on Twitch, this is not a plug, the story actually has something to do with it. And there is this guy who I also met while streaming Monhan, he's also a streamer, small streamer, like yours truly. Surprisingly, this guy also plays Warframe. What are the odds, right? I am not making this up, I'm serious, he's from a different school. He was kind enough to join me when I was playing last week, along with another guy in chat that hypes up the game. What's with the tree? Would you look at it? <laughs> Fucking hell! We do all that just for you to make a pun? I put too bad if you want to stream. <laughs> Even though there are only three of us in the stream, it was so much fun. We ran a few rounds, played relic runs. He offered to use his Ghost Prime relic because I've been saying I haven't gotten him yet. Ghost Prime, let's go. Oh, you're using the Ghost Prime thingy? I don't think we will be that lucky though. And immediately, we got the Neuroptics on the first run. Ooh! Ooh! Let's go! That easy. No, no, I'm not lying. Please trust me. I even got 100 plats from him because he lost a small bet. Easy plats. Now, I'm not saying you should become a streamer. I don't even know your situation and I won't even say this to me four years ago. He got no balls to stream. But there are ways to get friends, right? Especially in this day and age. Hop on a Discord call to get the full unfiltered experience. It won't be as smooth sailing, I'm sure, but you could definitely get lifelong friends online. It's not unheard of. Lifelong might be stretching, but it is one way nonetheless. People would also say farm for plots. I would advise against this unless you are already engrossed with the game. This is Warframe, dude. Plots are unnecessary. Just remind yourself what got you started on Warframe. Is it plots? No, it's the frames, new weapons, stories, new maps, all the novelties. I remember back then when Planes of Eidolons just got announced. Me and my high school friend were so excited for it. That's mainly my suggestion for today. Not plots farming, not primes. Again, back when we just started, we didn't even know what a golden version could do. Weapon primes are a great consideration though. Once you are engrossed with the game again, that's when you start caring more. Fashion frame, shiny golden armor, clans, min-max build, etc. But most importantly, look for things you yourself find fun. Maybe your gem is fishing. Go ahead. 
hoverboarding on Fortuna, mining on the planes, or my favorite, becoming a trader. That's one reason why I kept doing relic runs. I'm not going to downplay anything. If your jam is elsewhere than this list, then go for it. There is also another piece of advice I got scouring online. If you are burnt out, then it's okay to leave. Don't force yourself if you're not feeling it. Let the game cook. Give it a few months, new stories, new frames, then go back like that Will Smith meme. No, not that one, the other one. I'm pretty sure I would also leave after checking Dante. Maybe extend my stay by getting Goss and Foruna with the new buddies. But after that, I'll let the game cook again. Let DE cook again. We know how they work, they'll make bangers. While at that, go pick at other games. We got a lot of good stuff, as fun as Warframe. Take up a new hobby perhaps, or check other stuff. While at that, you can, this is a plug, check out my stuff. I'm not sure you will find anything of interest, but it is worth a try. I will be very happy if you could try them out for yourself. If you wanna see my future Dear Diaries, get that subscribe button. I also stream on Twitch as you can already guess. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask, it'll help me look good on my resume. And hey, if you wanna share your experience, some advice, funny story, or anything you want to share, my comment section is open. Until then, I'll see you guys later. See ya! Yeah, that got knocked out, cool. Kill issue. Oh, shit.